Today we'll be discussing six lies about living in San Diego. Yes. Lies, lies, what, what lies? And it's gonna start right now. All right, the first lie about living in San Diego mm. is what? Is the uh, political affiliation, I suppose? California tends to be very blue, very Democrat in California. Right? Sure. Uh, but San Diego is probably one of the states that it might be slightly more balanced. One of the counties. Say? In the county. In the counties, right. right. So we do have a Democratic uh, governor, mayor, yes. And I know that's definitely what a lot of people would assume, but there are pockets in San Diego County that are very much um, Republican voting. Specifically, mm. East County tends to be more a little bit more red than San Diego City. Mm -hmm. Parts of North County even are, sure. might be a little bit more red, like, like uh, Rancho Santa Fe, Rancho for example. Rancho Santa Fe tends to, yeah, be more Republican versus Democrat. I'm not mixing in independence or anything like that, yes. but just, so sort of a common misconception, I guess, that it's all just blew up and down the state. Yes, in the 2020 election, 60% uh, of San Diego voted uh, Democrat and 37% voted Republican. So yes. just keep that in mind. We have all walks of life here. In San That's Diego. right. All so, affiliations. Yes. All affiliations. Okay, number two lie about living in San mm. Diego is we have perfect weather here in San mm, Diego. It's a lie. When people think of San Diego, they always think... Sunny! It's sort of a lie. Yeah, it's close to <laughs> it's perfect. An, it's an embellishment. I feel yeah. like slightly more than a lie, but we do have great weather most of the year, but there are a few months out of the year the weather is not perfect. Here and it today. may surprise you, right? We came from Arizona to have a nice sunny beach day and it's all cloudy and cold. It's when people want to come visit. It's when people get out of school. It's mm -hmm. June, it's May, and those are not our best months here. No, we get a little, we get that marine layer here come uh, uh, May and June, mm -hmm. and it kind of hangs around for most of the day. It does break up a lot of times by the end of the day, but sometimes it's not till two or three in the afternoon. Right. Which one most of your day is already gone. May, the temperature after Average is only about 69 degrees, which the rest of the United States or parts of the United States are enjoying beautiful spring weather, 70, 75, and here in uh, May, our springtime is a little bit... Would you say spring is our worst weather of the year? Yeah, I think probably, so. Which oh. probably most people do not know that unless you live here in yeah. San Diego. Yeah, spring and early, and that early summer, right before summer. And yeah. just know, like, once the sun goes down here in San Diego, it does get a little chilly sometimes. It's Maybe chilly. not so much like in August, September time frame, but... Most of the other parts of the year, once that sun goes down, it cools down a lot here in San Diego. And in winter, in December, it can actually get. We have some some record lows that I mean go down into the you know the low 40s, hovering just above 39. You know, 45. That's uh, mm -hmm. that's chilly. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. We also don't really get thunderstorms here, just so you know that we. Although we did have one like a month ago. Do you remember when we had that yes. brief? Last very maybe brief. about three minutes. Yes. But we did have a thunderstorm and my kids were very excited about it. Yeah. Unless you get an El Nino year, which is another wetter weather wetter. Wetter oh, weather? Oh, it weather? is wetter weather. Wetter weather. Uh, sweater weather. Uh, sweater weather. Uh, that's a, a weather pattern that comes through periodically that leaves you with like winter and fall where you get tons of rainfall actually mm -hmm. storms chillier weather so that's cool we haven't had one of those in a we while. haven't no. in about eight years we probably could say. use one actually. We, we could do with yeah. one would be great okay what's number three lie. number three the lie is is that it is too expensive to live here in san diego county too rich for my blood i think people see uh, home prices and there's a lot of sticker shock and they just go oh my gosh how can anyone live there how can anyone afford How, to Housing there? is expensive here, but San Diego sure. County is also quite large. So yes. maybe you're not gonna be living on the beach in San Diego, but there are other options where you can go a little farther out and be more affordable. Yeah. But it's not all just about housing prices. That's right. There's property taxes. Correct. Where people assume we have crazy, crazy property taxes, but by comparison, there are other states that have even higher. We were actually ranked pretty low. We I had think we're in the middle of the pack the pretty much. 16th yeah. lowest property tax which is pretty low That's so like new jersey new york pennsylvania all higher massachusetts all, yeah, they were higher. all higher the northeast was actually yeah. very very high property so, tax compared you know. to our west coast uh, state here right you know if you live someplace where the the schools aren't quite as desirable you may have to pay for private schooling that sure. could be $25,000, $35,000 a year, you know? Yeah, so you can't just look at, the point is we can't just look at the cost mm. of the homes. Because yes. there's a lot more right. cost to go into it. Uh, granted, gasoline is going to be more expensive out here. Sure. So having a car out here is always going to be probably more expensive than most parts of the state. But you just got to look at the overall picture. Because mm -hmm. I just out, had someone out here recently from New York 
and they were comparing all the taxes and fees that they had to pay. Right. And the cost of the home was going to be more expensive here, but their monthly payment was not going to be that dramatically different. Than coming so, from New York. Exactly. Also, cost of groceries, cost of fresh fruit and vegetables tends to be lower here in San Diego County than in a lot of other states. We Even grow a lot of them. We here grow too. a lot of the fruits and vegetables. They don't have to be shipped quite as far to get to us. There's stuff you know, that comes in from Mexico. There's stuff that comes down from Sacramento. I looked at uh, cost of groceries in Delaware, in my home state, were 12% higher than yeah, those which here. Which is crazy. Yeah. And uh, the last thing I would mention is utilities. You know, if you live someplace that's super hot in the summer, super cold in the winter, you're gonna be running heat, you're gonna be running air conditioning. Here, a lot of people don't even have air conditioning. No. The weather's pretty temperate, so you don't need Depending to- Depending on where you live. Yeah, and it's, I'm not saying yeah. that you don't want to run it a couple times in the summer, you know, or you get a, a heat wave and you sure. run it for a week, but I don't think I use my heat very often at all. Your furnaces last a lot longer here in San Diego. There you go. Don't use that much, there but. you go. And also with the amount of sunshine we have, people can counteract it with solar panels That's too. Right. So I have solar panels here and our bill is pretty much nothing yeah. every year. So yeah. if you live in a climate that does not have sunshine, that as much as we do yeah. would not work as well. So those are sort of yeah ways you sort of offset the the cost. For but sure. yes, home prices are always a, a shock. When yes, you see for sure. Yeah, because you love to talk about this number four. I, Go I ahead. love talking about this. This oh. and parking. Yeah. So uh, number four on our list of lies here about living in San Diego is the traffic is horrible. Lie. Lie. I actually think the traffic is quite tolerable here. Granted, I think the traffic was much worse maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago here in San Diego. So it's all kind of what you're used to. But I've lived in Philadelphia, I've lived in uh, Los Angeles. They're actually much higher on the list of worse traffic ranked. in there the are United rankings. States. Yeah. So there are much worse places that with, due to traffic here than San Diego. I think we were kind of middle of the pack on this one too as far yeah, as traffic was. I think so. They did some sort of analysis where they, they did the per capita time spent in mm -hmm. traffic congestion and that's how they ranked Correct. city so don't get us confused with los angeles we're not yeah. los angeles no I we're better we're, we're better <laughs> <laughs> traffic wise we're better and it's very predictable so it's right. like it's mostly rush hour like right. eight to nine and then like four to, to five thirty yeah the traffic is yes yeah. it's, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's a special mm -hmm. little bit so it also depends on where you live and where you're going so mm -hmm. if you're going downtown on friday afternoon you're probably gonna hit some traffic yeah or on the weekends coming all That's the la traffic awful. come down yeah you know, it's predictable. Yeah. Or when the San Diego Fair is here. Thanks, Fair. Right. Oh, <laughs> Then we get man. a little traffic there, too. So, fair. But long story short, the traffic is not that bad at San Diego. Yeah. So that is a lie. Lies. Lies. This next lie, fifth lie, is that the job market in San Diego sucks. Filthy, filthy lie. That is so not true. It's all lies. The national average for unemployment is 3.6%. In San Diego, we're at 3.4%. We can still claim that we are lower yeah, than not, the national average. Not by much, average, but, but compared but we to still are. That's other right. major cities, That's we're actually right. in a much better position than some. Exactly. So what are some of those industries that we have here that are... So we have we have biotech, we have tech jobs, we've had Google, Amazon, Apple, all open, oh yeah, open offices here in San yeah. Diego. So the, the job market has grown exponentially over the last five or just five or 10 years. The US military is actually our biggest employer here in San Diego. Right. And then obviously travel and tourism is also big deals here it in, is. in San Diego. People come to visit. And before we just used to have the military and travel, mm -hmm. and now we have all these other industries that right. are kind I of could not building up here. believe I looked at the biotech because I, I was like, oh, what are some of the companies I could name there? There was just, I mean, the list just goes on. You look at the map, they're just all over like the Torrey Pines area. Sure. Yeah. Tons of biotech companies um, doing some really interesting stuff too, you know, genetic research, stuff like that. So it's not just classic medical field. Yeah, there's, it's not just, uh, doctors at the hospital. Sure. It's or people who real are estate doing, agents. Yeah, or real estate agents. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, people doing really interesting research too at a lot of these places. So. All much smarter people than we are. So <laughs> uh, we appreciate <laughs> all that you guys do. And if you ever need to buy a home, feel free to reach Yeah, out. <laughs> right. We'll find you something right near Torrey Pines. Perfect. Sold. Yeah. Short commute. All right, number six and the last lie on our list. This is obviously there's many more lies we can speak of. We'll do for future videos, but San Diego is not ethnically diverse. It's a lie. Bogus. Bogus. Totally bogus. What in the hell's diversity? I think a lot of people's imagery of someone that lives in San Diego is a white dude with blonde hair and no shirt and just Bye. surfing the, the waves. Spicoli. Spicoli. A bunch of Spicoli. A little point break or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, Which, right? Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of those here mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. But 
So I think compared to like even like Los Angeles, I'm not sure I'd say it's more ethnically diverse than LA is, but there's all walks of life here in San Diego. Sure. So so many different cultures represented, which I think is so wonderful. Restaurants, school programs, festivals, functions, you know, ce celebrating all different cultures, mm -hmm. which is so neat. Where I grew up, I probably was not as diverse. Where I grew up on the East Coast. Yeah. But coming out here, your kids are, you know, not going to just be one ethnicity in your in the classes. So right. my daughter was telling me how to speak uh, Chinese this morning. Oh, awesome! And she helped you say uh, dad in Chinese. It's just Papa. So she said, like, oh, not that far. I'm not even sure if that is Chinese, but that's what she told me. So it's nice that they that's have great. a nice, well-rounded um, childhood and education. Here. Yeah. So that was our list of six lives here in San Diego. There are many more lives that we can speak of, but we will save those for future videos so you guys continue to tune in and subscribe to our channel and like all our videos. And if you're ever looking to buy a house here in San Diego, buy or sell a home in here in San or Diego, sell. please feel free to reach out. We put out new videos every week. And thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.